All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of World with Ty Brownlow. I am your host, Ty Brownlow. Remember, no one is worthless, no story is worthless. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you know I had to bring it back home to Chicago, you know. So, man, without further ado, you know, the person to the left of me, right of y'all, the one and only Ego Jalil. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I appreciate you for having me, no cap. Man, no problem, brother. No problem at all. Look here, man. First and foremost, man, thank you for, you know, coming on the platform. You know, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. I appreciate it. Man, as I said, keep it Chicago. So, you know, we're talking about home team, Chicago Originals. Okay. First and foremost, man, for those of you who are not familiar with my man, Ego Jalil, let me tell you right now, he is a man of many talents, you know, on the acting side and the musical side. He has a single and a video out now called View, okay? YouTube, Ego Jalil View, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Dope concept, all that, which we're about to talk about. So, Mr. Ego Jalil, can you please tell us a little bit about this single and video you got out right now? Yeah, for sure. Um, honestly, it was just a concept song. Uh, I just moved back from L.A., so uh, I was visiting the city, and that that particular visit, I had a studio session. I try to hop in the studio when I, whenever I come to the city. Um, but I was also checking out the crib. I was moving into, you feel me? Like I said, I was moving back. So mm -hmm. I had, um, I went to the viewing, then I went to the studio. But when I got to the viewing, the shit was just like, can I cuss? My, 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 oh, no, my, you good, brother. Uh, look, come on now. Come I, on. I figured, I was just, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so when I got to the viewing, it was just, you know what I'm saying? It blew my mind. It was just a far, far, it beat expectations by a thousand. You know what I'm saying? So I was inspired by that, you know? So I went then to the studio. I, I, I write back, I write, you know what I'm saying? What, I, what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. So that's kind of how I, how I, um, you know, uh, create my content. So I was going through that, you know, I was, I was dealing with the experience of that. So it just came out on, on, on wax. Okay. All right. So now who did the beat? You did the beat? I wish, man. I, I wish I'm working on it, but now my homie Rosart. Uh, we've been working a lot, actually. He, he got a lot of joints with me. We got a lot of joints uh, coming up, but but uh, Rosart produced it, um, and Ro Marcellus actually mixed it. Uh, okay. So yeah, all Chicago for sure. Okay, all Chicago. Come on now, you know, home team stepping through. Home team stepping through. Right. Now up. look, we're gonna talk about the entertainment side in just a few minutes, but. Uh, I always like to ask this question, especially from artists that I do get from my hometown, Chicago. Like, how does being from the city inspire, you know, the music that you put out? Um, It's real, it's raw. I feel like that's that's what the city is. Uh, some of my stuff shysty, I feel like that's what the city is. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's tough, creative, you know what I'm saying? That, again, that's what the city is, you feel me? So. Uh, I wouldn't change my, my, my bringing up for, for nothing, for, for coming up nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I honestly did like L.A., but I, I wouldn't trade coming up there um, as opposed to Chicago for anything. So I definitely feel like, you know, um, the city, uh, the, the grit of the city kind of kind of shines through my music. You know what I mean? It's like it's like. Um, it's like aggressive, but still but still with a finesse to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. All right. All right. There's an art of finessing there. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, no. Well, you know, look, I think, you know, people who do, and we're going to talk about this in a few minutes, but people who do get a chance to create, you know, artistically coming out of Chicago and you have an opportunity to take those talents elsewhere in many different avenues, as well as like the musical avenue you know man you know it really shows you different sides of yourself that you just may not thousand have percent. uh a thousand percent and that's 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 a blessing in itself you know what i mean once you take yourself out of situation you typically able to see the situation a tad bit better get a bird's eye view so that honestly that that was that was that was a very big blessing of of you know stepping out the city for a minute okay so look well let's talk about it okay i mean man we've been tiptoeing around it let's just talk about it because man look I get it. I understand, man. Um, I talk about pressures sometimes and everywhere you go, every city has their own share of pressures. LA got their share of pressures. Detroit got their share of pressures. Miami got a share of pressures. You know, Atlanta got a share of pressures. Everybody everywhere has their share of pressures. All pressures are not alike. 
And as I just said, sometimes when you take yourself up out of those pressures and place yourself somewhere else, you know, you really get to see like, well, man, you know, okay, man, you know what, man, I'm really good at this. I'm really good at that. I have a knack for this. I have a knack for that. And as you said, you start to see things differently. Thank you, you, sir, uprooted yourself up out of Chicago, going west to LA. And, you know, look, I, I can definitely attest, you know, to it myself, you know, doing so that you are not under the same type of pressure that you would normally be under being back at your hometown. But you, you know, man, way outside, you know, you said, look, I'm going to share the comfort zone and I'm going to go for this and I'm going to go for that. Man, you, as far as the acting, have been on like Gronish, All American, you know, mm -hmm. man. Uh, and those are just a few of the shows, okay, man. There's a longer list, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But having that like Chicago hustle, as well as that artistic mentality. Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Oh, definitely, definitely. I really, like. I feel like, all right, I feel like the, the like you said, the pressures in each place is different. You feel me? Right. Um, LA's a lot more expensive and I ain't finna sit here and act like I, I just be getting thousands and thousands of dollars a show. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it wasn't an easy thing. You know what I'm saying? Coming from, uh, like you said, where you're, where you're comfortable, uh, um, in the city, you know, where you're from, you can call whoever at any time, essentially, uh, to a place where you really don't know too many people, you know, uh, like, you, you, like you say, you start to experiment, you know, you start to uh, uh, see yourself, you start to grow, you know what I mean? Because you got to, you got to deal with different stuff here, you know, I mean, different stuff there. So like, as opposed to if I was here, you know what I'm saying? I may be, I may be, if I'm going out, I, I maybe need to, uh, you know, worry about who I'm around, like uh, as far as protection wise, but right. as, as as opposed to there, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, damn, okay, rent coming up. Hold on, let me go get this bag. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's crazy. But um, as far as musically, what would I say? How, how hmm, I feel like, like I said, I kind of, I kind of was able to experiment more. You know, it's not, I'm not next to the people who I'm used to, who, who I'm usually next to, like the people that's essentially, you know, doing a thing in Chicago, or whatever the case may be. So like you, when you hear music, when you hear, uh, when you hear a certain type of music that actually influences what you're, what you what you create, what you regurgitate, you know what I'm saying? So I will say that it kind of uh, broadened my, my, my arsenal essentially, you know what I'm saying? Better with hooks, you know what I'm saying? Pop records are a little different. Um, subject matter, a thousand percent, you know what I mean? It's just a different life. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, man, look, I mean, it's an experience, you know, look, I was out there for two and a half years. Like I can attest to everything that you're speaking of, you know, that's how this show was created, you know, like in the midst of a pandemic. And um, when things shut down, you know, I decided, OK, let's create. Sure. And I got to create. I got to do something, you know, this, that or what have you. And, um, you know, like it really showed me a side of myself that, hey, you know, like, you know what? I could really, you know, do this, that, or what have you. But I know just being outside of what I was comfortable being around, which was here, made me grow and take that extra step yeah. because let's just say it was here and, you know, man, you're around a certain type of people. And I'm not saying that, you know, Man, you know, people are negative or whatever. Yeah, that ain't what I'm getting at at all. It's just a different, no. you know, it's different. It's just Man, different. it's just different. It's just different. Chicago is Chicago. <laughs> Man, Chicago is Chicago. LA is LA. As I said, uh -huh. Miami is Miami. Houston is Houston. Every city has their own type of pressure. But when you step outside of yours and into another, you so really feel with it. that, you know what, your pressure ain't like mine. Right, 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 right. That pressure might have been easy, or this pressure. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that's all y'all worried about. Oh but, man, come on, let's do it. So yeah, it, man, look here. The stories I can tell you about it, like I might like, really do. I'm like, is this? Are y'all serious? Like, like, is this <laughs> a thousand percent? No, I'm with you a thousand percent on that, bro. You know, you know what? You know, you know. They say that, like, you know, if you can make it, uh. Like if you can make it here, they talking about New York typically, but if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. I was definitely like that about Chicago. Bro. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not a game. Bro. <laughs> like, oh no, you can really make it anywhere. Uh -huh. Chicago, you can make it anywhere. Seriously, no man. Um, so now, like, 
let me ask what kind of like projects or whatever do you have coming up in like the near future definitely um so i'm dropping a uh essentially a live um a live performance of view we dropping that next uh then my next single called compadres which is a, a friends in spanish it's a, it's more it's definitely a different lane it's more of an r&b track it's more more for the women or whatever the case may be that's coming shortly after next week actually okay. um so honestly man i'm just trying to i'm trying to build my catalog bro i'm trying to collaborate a lot you know i i, I wasn't really big on that um you know before i left I, i'm kind of a loner like you know i don't know but uh so i'm you know i'm trying you you should expect collaborations um more singles a thousand percent uh, more visuals a million percent um i'm not really working on a on a tape per se but you know i definitely if i if i do a record i'm like hold on hold on let me tuck this to the side let me <laughs> we'll we worry about that later so um so yeah that's 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 basically what's popping with me okay well man that's what's look here man look like i just like it because it's a look uh, man I'm in my lane. I got this focus. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to see what's on the other side. Now I'm coming back. Now, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm on dirt. Now I'm on bullshit. <laughs> and now I'm really on that shit. That I was on bullshit before, but now I'm on bullshit for the show for sure. <laughs> so here it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, since I know this is what y'all want. No, no, dude. I love it. I love it. So now, if people want to get in contact with you, how do they get in contact with you via social media, all that good stuff? I uh, man, hit my phone seven seven. Now nah, just play. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding, man. Ego Jalil, everything. E G O J A L W E L. Uh, that's on everything, man. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, the website, everything, man. Please follow me. I follow back. We could be cool. Uh, um, as far as uh, yeah, that's everything. Shit, Ego Jalil for sure. All right, there it is. There it is. There it is. Now look, Ego Jalil. Mm -hmm. Last question. Now this question that my show's known for, so I got to pop it to you. All right. What is the one word that best describes you and why? Uh, that's a tough one. I'm stuck between two right now. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll go, with, yeah, you, you got two. Um, <laughs> uh, confident and persistent. You know what I mean? Uh, confident, it, it speaks in my name, you know what I mean? And it's not, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the bad way. It probably used to be, I was a lot, I was a lot more cocky. Uh, <laughs> but a lot more cocky back then, but, um, but now it's, 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 you need confidence, man. It's not really a, you know, you can't, you typically not gonna get nowhere without confidence. Um, you just gotta believe in yourself. If you don't, who the fuck else will? You know what I'm saying? As far as persistence, you know, a lot that happened in my life, man. A lot, a lot of shit that, 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 you know, should have had me down and out, should have had me not continuing. You know what I'm saying? So um, I say persistent because I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna keep pushing, we're gonna keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? Keep shooting for the stars, you dick. Hey, man, that's what it is. Hey, uh, look, confident and persistent, resilient, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Man, look here. Ego Jalil like taxes. He just won't die. Okay? He just won't die. <laughs> he right? Damn. <laughs> no, just wait. No, man. But uh, I love it, man. I love it. As I said, I love the perspective. I love how you just, man, as we sit here and talk about the concept of you, and everything and just listening to the stories you know as well as like you know gaining the you know knowledge and you know understanding at the time you you know jump from la to come back home and man you know just like the shit you've learned you know pretty much in the process because it really don't matter how long it's been as long as there's a learning process applied to it yeah facts facts that's a fact you know um you really can't put no time limit on learning you know either yeah, you're quick. Don't nobody know but god god don't know when your time you know what i'm saying you don't know when your time coming your time to shine is you just got to keep keep grinding until it do so that's that's real and that's just real we ain't trying to sound like no grandpa's on the corner drinking wine uh, that's, that's, that's fact that's, uh, that's, that's facts. Facts. okay all right that's just all it is man yeah. look here brother i appreciate you coming out Man, blessing us, man. You know, talking about your platform, talking about everything you got going on. Definitely, Ego Jalil, all platforms, Spotify, man. The Apple Music, Title. They pay the most on Title. Go listen on Title. Oh. No, <laughs> nah, man. Whatever you got, man. Ego Jalil, E G O J A N. Ego Jalil. Okay, man. Look at, but for real, for those of y'all with Title, man, it's pretty much Ego Jalil. Go ahead, help brother out. There you go, man. Peace. You know, what I'm just saying. <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything else, Ego Jalil, follow, 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 support, support, support. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Word with Ty Brownlow. I've been your host, Ty Brownlow. Remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. Follow me, all social media platforms, at Word with Ty Brownlow. Or go to my website, tybrownlow.com. Definitely get this conversation, plus other great conversations. Ego Jalil, we out. Peace out, peace out. Appreciate it.